Game six, after a road win in game five, Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors return home. They seek to clinch the series, but Giannis wants to force a game seven back in Milwaukee. And the Bucks come out firing from three. Chris Middleton knocks one down. George Hill finds Ersan Ilyasova, and he hits. Giannis drives, kick out. There's George Hill, three more. And Brooke Lopez spins, finds Malcolm Brogdon. The Bucks went six for nine from three in the first quarter. They closed the quarter on a 15 to two run, leading by 13 after one, but here come the Raptors in the second. Kyle Lowry, transition lay -in. Then Kawhi Leonard stops, hits, originally ruled a three, toe on the line, a two. The Raptors are within seven at the half, 50-43, third quarter, Bucks. Giannis looking for the three-pointer, yes. Then he feeds Chris Middleton after drawing a crowd. Middleton 14 points, including four threes. The Bucks leading by 14. Kawhi Leonard, so huge, again and again in the playoffs. Hits from the top of the key, makes it a 10 point game. And the Raptors catch fire in the fourth. Great ball movement here, Norman Powell, the three, yes. And then watch Fred Van Vliet over to Pascal Siakam, the teardrop. And Van Vliet for three. How about Kyle Lowry? Sneaks in with the steal, goes the other way, waits. Kawhi Leonard, the slam over Giannis. Jurassic Park loves it. Kawhi's slam caps a 26 to three Toronto run. The Raptors up eight, 87, 79. You know Drake loves it. Fourth quarter, the Bucks won't stop. Greek Freak drives in for two. He had 21 points, but just seven of 18 shooting in the game. He gets the Bucks within one. That has to be Kawhi's corner. He gets the shooter's roll again from the same spot where he buried Philly. Kawhi finished with 27 points, Raptors up five. Now a three-point game. Look at the block by Giannis, but right there to clean it up, it's Pascal Siakam, the lay-in. What a block, but the score puts Toronto back up five. Final seconds. The Bucks need a stop. They get the stop once, but the Raptors get the rebound. But notice the shot clock didn't reset. Officials stop the game. They go to look, and yes, indeed, the ball did hit the rim, giving the Raptors the ball with no shot clock, a huge break. So the Raptors go to the line after Milwaukee foul. Siakam hits the first. That makes it a two possession game, 98-94. Now he misses the second but Kawhi Leonard fights for the rebound. A playoff career high, 17 rebounds. None bigger than this one. Kawhi Leonard comes up big. Toronto needed the rebound. The Bucks cannot believe they didn't get the rebound. Milwaukee comes up short after leading two games to none in this series. 194 the final, the Raptors win their first conference title. Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors face Golden State in the NBA Finals, game one, Thursday night.